Hello, happy Wednesday to you guys. Justin here, and um, I'm actually at a job site right now. Yes, I am the 10 hour wholesaler, the wholesaler guy, but I still renovate and we still do projects. Um, that's what it's all about, right? Building a massive marketing machine so that you have the opportunity to cherry pick some of the best and um, renovate them, right? Um, and so, as I'm walking through this project, you know, all the contractors are gone right now, all the walls are taped up, I'm about to shoot all the ceilings and get rid of this popcorn that's so prevalent here in the 80s, 70s and 80s in Florida. Really sexy stuff, right? Actually pretty cool, we actually knocked this wall out right here. This used to be a wall um, from an old Florida room, which was really nothing more than just a sauna <laughs> made by nature. And we just knocked the wall and brought it all back and put a eight foot slider here. Um, so we're going to have a nice good common area and took down, uh, actually that was a wall right there as well and then we took this down here too. So you know, got rid of that 1970s boxed in style. Anyway, enough about the house. Uh, as I'm walking through here, I wanted to uh, just send you guys a message, right? I'm always thinking about my community members, um, thinking about how you know, more things I can do for you and add more value and any tiny little tip that I ever think of that I can give to you. Uh, that will help you, I always want to do, right? And um, so anyway, this process came to mind, or this idea came to mind. You know, as I'm looking around, we have a lot of deals going on and a couple renovations, and this is a big project here, and this is beachside, so it's a pretty pricey deal. Um, you know, I started this in Denver eight years ago, about nine, nine years ago, right? And, you know, with nothing, zero, zip. Um, I had a lot of confusion, a lot of shiny object syndrome, bouncing around, buying thing from thing. Um, it was difficult, right? It was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a challenge for me. And so, you know, when I look at my business now, I think, you know, what is something that, what's, I'm always thinking, what's the one thing, what is one powerful thing I can give to people? right, to encourage them to pursue their dreams or expand the existing company that they have and add processes and add systems, which is what I'm all about, processes and systems, you know. Uh, I always say, I like to spend more time in the water than I do working, and it's true. As a matter of fact, the surf was firing today. I didn't even get to the office until 12.30. So, um, <laughs> um, at the end of the day, it's important to remember that if you want this bad enough, You'll do whatever it takes. If you're curious, truly curious, right, to see what you're capable of, you will find the answers because in your pursuit, in, the, in one singular focused direction, things happen. You're, 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 you're making adjustments, you're making changes in your life. Um, things start coming towards you and doors start to open up and everybody has their own path, right? Some people, they go out there, Right, and just put a couple things together and, and, and you know, they're in business. But then I can guarantee you, they will, without a shadow of doubt, have their own struggles, even if business sort of seemed like they just started really easy. And the reason I say that is because I recently had a couple people say, man, you know, this guy over here, he's just, I know him, he's a friend of mine, and all of a sudden he's doing all kinds of deals and I'm trying really hard what's going on. Everybody does have their own unique path, right? Um, because I always say the most important piece of real estate that you will ever flip is the real estate between your ears. Everything. This entire game, right? Having houses to renovate and multiple wholesale deals and staff and processes and systems is nothing but beliefs that you have to overcome. Bar none. Always, that's it. They're simply just beliefs that you have to overcome. So, I wanna leave you with an exercise. Do, do yourself a favor tonight, today. Audit yourself, right? Audit yourself. Meaning, in regards to real estate, knowing what it is that you need to do, right? And whatever your direction might be, whether it's wholesaling or renovating houses or um, building a rental portfolio, which I don't recommend that you do until you build your cash flow up. Get your cash flow up before you do that. Um, whatever your focus is, if it's wholesaling, audit yourself. What are the things that you know that you're avoiding? What are the beliefs that you have 
that are not allowing you to do X. Let's say build a buyer's list of cash investors. What is truly limiting you? Be honest with yourself. Take a sheet of paper, write down the problem on the top, a single line down the middle, on the left-hand side, the things that you believe are holding you back. On the right-hand side, what you can do to fix it. I also like to call this column the truth. And this is something that I do on a daily basis. I learned it from one of my mentors years ago and I've been doing it ever since. I promise you it's a life changer if you take the five minutes out of your life to do it. It only takes five minutes. Um, when you stare at that sheet of paper, honesty will hit you and you'll say, gosh, I can't believe I'm letting X limit me from my dreams. Okay, so keep that in mind. The most important piece of real estate that you'll ever flip is the real estate between your ears. And um, God bless.